So how you doing there? This is Nima Fumo. We got a little interview going on here. We got a gentleman and he's going to be honest with us and we're going to ask him a couple questions and it has to do with uh, the border and uh, cannabis in general. So here we go. So how you doing there, my friend? Um, basically what I'd like to do is why don't we go ahead and uh, talk to you about, uh, you want to talk to us about the border. So share with us how you feel about what's going on there. Well, currently uh, I'm just beginning to understand a little bit about it, but I feel that uh, an American citizen, as long as you're a citizen, you should be able to come across the border without any hassles. Uh, your Fourth Amendment rights, uh, without you know proper uh, uh, search and seizure procedures, you know they have to have a probable cause to stop you. Um, we're not in a you know Nazi Germany state. We're in a free America, or we're supposed to be free, and I find that we're losing every day, uh, not just in that realm, but in building codes and uh, just your right to live and do as you want to do. Um, I have a friend that came from China, he says, you're more free in China than, he, than you are here in the United States. And when he said that, I couldn't, I was shocked, I couldn't believe that, that that's actually the truth. But fact is they can do anything and uh, I, I really believe that um, things actually weed themselves out as far as uh, you know building codes if you make bad buildings you'll be out of business yeah and also personal rights if there's a bad building you have the right to not go in and make that choice. May I jump in there and when we're talking about building codes, I'm going to bring up an interesting subject to you, my brother, yeah. and that has to do with utilizing the, the plant that we call hemp. Yeah. I mean, this is a very strong material. This material is actually can replace plastic, yeah. it can replace lumber, yeah. it can be used for construction. So why are we utilizing material that is uh, not durable? Talk to me, you know, because I got a feeling that well, you have some good information on construction. You, do you have a background in construction? Or, or? Just from doing remodels and things like that. Okay. I'm just a private citizen, mm -hmm. not a construction guy at all. But uh, as far as hemp goes, uh, back in uh, 1745, my great, 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 great grandfather uh, farmed hemp and it was used for real clothing, all kinds of things, and, and I don't have a problem with that. That's great. I mean, if we can use products like that, that's fine. And it's pers your personal choice. Now, for medical marijuana, <clears throat> and just free use of marijuana, um, I'm still split. I, mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what to, th to think of it yet. Um, I have a back problem, okay. and uh, it eliminates me from driving truck because yeah. you cannot take methadone in, in yeah. the truck. And I have this problem, they can't figure out what's wrong. So I can switch off of the methadone to drive truck and go on to morphine for the time that I drive truck. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't drive truck now, but if I wanted to, I could go back to it. Um, hemp uh, may be a, uh, not smoking it, but I understand there's a pill that you can get now. Yeah. There's ice cream, there's lollipops, there's yes. all different kinds of things that I'm finding out about that could possibly help my back situation. May I jump in here, yeah. if you don't mind? Um, actually, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. I am a, a patient myself, and um, I am dealing with cirrhosis of the liver, my brother, because of the fact that I utilize what we call the pharmaceutical medicines. I followed what the, the white coat doctors told me to do. So now I'm dealing with cirrhosis. So my question to you is because I was on the methadone and I was taking Oxycontin and, and all this other uh, so-called wonderful medicine that they prescribed to me. Um, are you concerned about uh, what effect it is having on your body as an individual? Um, yes and no. I'm mm -hmm. on a very low dose. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm not really concerned about okay. it. Uh, and again, that's personal right. choice. Right. Yes. You know, yes. if you want to take that stuff, whatever. Right. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to get into the business now of helping people that are hooked on drugs and getting them off drugs. Okay. And, and uh, it's I've learned it's a terrible thing. And I, I had one of the guys that that stayed at our house for a little while, and mm -hmm. he he overdosed and died and it was heroin addiction. Okay, know. are you so, aware that right now that the cannabis, the, the, the marijuana itself is being utilized as uh, a type of uh, 
prescription to take people off the heavy narcotics, alcohol and what have you. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I know there's no. something called Marinol. Marinol. And I don't mm. know if that's exactly what you're talking about, yeah, but there's things that I know you can do, mm -hmm. like I said, that yeah. the ice cream and the yeah. lollipops and that kind of stuff. Now, I, like I said, I'm still up in the air. Washington State is now a state that's legal to have marijuana. Right. Um, there's going to be all kinds of legal problems. Right. We are going to have a mess because the government is going to be involved. Mm. And when the government's involved, you know, and we need to stop, we need to stop. How are you going to stop the narcotics and stuff coming in and the marijuana coming in from Mexico, from wherever? You know, it's You're interesting. Not going to be able it's to interesting it. you say that because uh, it's like everything in life. Once you take away something from an individual, then you actually take control. The biggest fear today with, with the world in general is what will happen if we release this. I don't know if you've really been watching the news, but in the state of Colorado, they have gone full blown with this, and realistically, the sky has not fallen on Colorado. Uh, the reason I am full so much forward, and, and I'm sharing this with you, my brother, not, not, to, uh, not to discourage you, uh, what you believe in, but just to share with you that right now, we have serious situations where we have actual patients that are living because of the cannabis that are dealing with cancer. There's a young lady that I would like you to do some research, if you have the time, and she goes by Brave McKay. She's out of Oregon, and uh, this young lady is, I'm gonna say, uh, she's barely hitting her teens, okay? So these parents are doing everything they can. The sad thing here is when we talk about the government, the government has controlled this to the point where now, a lot of the people in general have been misinformed. And this is how the government works. They misinform us. The reason I asked you to talk about the border, because I have some brothers and sisters up in the north who are dealing with their own issues with their own government because of the fact that they are patients. The information was released to the public, which they should not have been done. And the government of Canada wants to go ahead and take over the market and import cannabis when they could go ahead and keep this product in their own country to help them. But here's the sad part. Money. Yes, it is called money, my brother. But that's also called greed. Called that's called tax. what the government has control. Yep. And that is what I'm, I'm here to they're ask gonna, because these people... are going to tax it to death. They are so going to tax it to death. They've become the new, uh, the, the, the new drug pushers. Uh, the... That's right. <laughs> but, but the bottom line is that if you actually look in the news, the government's been involved with uh, a lot of things that they don't share with us, right? And the bottom line is this. My concern is that now we have people from Canada and people from the states that cannot cross a border because of their own personal choice of medicine. Right. And we are talking about government taking over, taking our rights. Yeah. This is what we started the conversation with. Right. So as human individuals, I ask and I plead for everyone on this planet to please consider this. We need to consider a global scale legalization. This will solve all your problems about where it's coming from because if you go ahead and cut off the supply and you provide quality medicine for these people or quality recreational stuff, then you know what? They won't have to go elsewhere. They will not go on the streets. But if they do tax it to death, what will happen there, my people? They will go back onto the black market. Yep. So I well, do appreciate that. my friend, that. I tell you this. Uh, I, I'm not in favor of people using drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen the devastation. I've been involved. I've seen, and uh, it's it's terrible. It's mm -hmm. a terrible thing when you're I agree with you. drugs. I agree with you. Uh, as but, far as marijuana goes, mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I think I prefer that you don't use it. I prefer you live clean and get a, a good, healthy life out of cleanliness and uh, holiness and. You know, as a Christian, I believe that, that a, a that, that's that, that's an that. interesting point because you know, actually there, there was an, so. an a holy ointment that was used by Christ, uh, the days of Christ Himself, which had cannabis that they used it as a lotion to go ahead and help and take care of the pain. Yeah. Well, you know, but then again, saying, yeah, I agree with, if you don't need to use it, don't use right. it, my friend. <laughs> that's true. I gotta go. <laughs> okay, I thank you for your time, and I hope you really consider yep. letting go of that other prescription and going organic. Thank you very much, my brother. <laughs> and that's in your fumo. Thank you very much, and we appreciate that man's honesty. Thank you. Take care.